Welcome to video six of how to use template.com to make passive income with Etsy, Shopify, or WordPress. In this video, I'm gonna walk you through on how to give your customer access to demo links and template purchases, and how to set up the final steps to selling templates on Etsy. So make sure that you watch this video till the end. Hi, and welcome back. If you're new to the channel and you wanna learn how to turn your passions into profits, please subscribe. I upload weekly videos and don't forget to hit that notification bell to be the first one notified of any new videos. So let's head over to my computer to get started. So here we are on template.com and on my back end on the dashboard. And I'm going to show you how to provide your customer a demo link where the customer can actually play with the template, edit, make some changes before they even buy from you. And I'm also going to show you how to give access to your customers um, when they purchase a template from you as well. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing you want to do is that whether you sell on Etsy, you sell on WordPress or Shopify, you want to provide on your listing description a link where the customer could click on and they could actually try a demo of the product that you're selling. In order to do this, it's very simple. All you need to do is go have this particular link saved to your notepad and this is what you're going to give customers the only thing that you will be changing is that you're going to have to put your username right here and the username is what you use when you signed up for template and then right here you're going to put in the id number of that particular template that you created so i'm going to show you how to locate the id number if you go to your dashboard and you click on assets and you go to templates is going to open this window and here is going to show you every single product that you have ever created so i only have one because this is the only one i created this is the actual id number is 707-3984 so you're going to grab this number you're going to copy that number and you're going to put it at the end of this url so i'm going to leave this url at the bottom of this video so you guys could grab it and use it the only thing you're going to change is that where it says your username, you will put your username and where it says product ID, you will put the actual number of that product ID. Now, when you give this to customers, this is what they get, right? This is what you will put in your actual listing description of your product that you're selling. And this is what the customer will see when they open this particular link, when they go to this website and it's going to say, choose a template to demo, feel free to play around with it, no changes will be saved. So they go here, template, and they will have access to whatever ID number you gave them. Now they could click here, and now this is a demo. They could see how easy it is to make this custom to whatever they want. They could see that they could put the flowers on here, they could change them up here, they could actually make the flowers bigger if they wanted to, they could pretty much customize this any way they want. And they could go here and they could change this. They could put Amanda and John. And then they could go down here and change this to their date, Sunday, February. And now they're like, oh wow, this is really cool. It's so easy to, to do. I wanna go ahead and buy from the store. And they could change the font if they wanted to because the font is also something that they could change to whatever they prefer. They could change the color if they wanted to. So everything here, they could pretty much edit to their liking and change it to their colors. So as you can see, they could pick any font that they want from here. They could make this bigger if they wanted to, and they could put it right there. They could change the flower, put it over here if they wanted to. So. This is how simple it is going to be for the customer to come in here and make any necessary changes that they want to. They could push this down and they could even put this down here if they wanted to. But this is really cool because now they could see how easy it is to do. And when the customer is ready to buy, they could even delete this and just use the front or they could do the front and back of the card. So this is how you ask, get, give the customer a demo link. Now, in order for the customer to go ahead and buy this and for them to receive the actual file, all you're gonna do is you're gonna go back here, you're gonna grab this ID number 
And you're going to write this in a bracket ID semicolon. You're going to put the product ID number 707-3984. And then you're going to put an uh, end close bracket. And you're going to add that to your product description. You could put it um, all the way in the bottom of your listing description, that ID number. And you're going to do that on your Etsy store, on your Shopify, and also on your WordPress, depending on which platform you're selling on. That's all you're going to do. Now, because when you sell digital products, it, you have to have like some sort of product in there, what you're going to have to do is you're going to create a PDF, and I will just create a PDF US letter size. And this is the one that template gives you as an option for you to kind of use and kind of go by. Now, what I would do is I, I'm going to link the page where I got this actual template from so you guys could have the actual page for it. And it's just basically what you would do. You could use Canva or your graphic design tool, whatever you prefer. And you're going to put your banner or your logo name up here. And then you could keep this all exactly the same. And then just in the bottom, you could change it to your name. Obviously, if you want to make it a little bit different and make it more unique, you could do so as well. But make sure that you include the necessary steps right here. This is what you're going to add as an attachment to your listing because you're going to have to have some sort of attachment. So when the customer buys from you, they're going to download this. This has the instructions. As soon as they buy from you, template and XE is going to sync because you have the ID number in the actual listing description. Because it syncs together, there's nothing else you need to do to do at that moment because the customer is going to get an email from template where they could go ahead and they're going to follow the link to access the template. And from there, they're going to be able to make the changes and then save their template to download and print. I'm also going to be linking right below this video another link to where it shows you how to retrieve the actual link for the customer in case you do get a customer that says, hey, the actual email that I have on Xe, right? Let's say, for example, is an old email. Can you send the template to this new email? That's going to happen. <laughs> so be prepared for it, but don't worry about it because I'm going to show you or I'm going to link a tutorial video from template right below this video that shows you step by step how to retrieve that link that you could provide the customer. The only reason why I'm not showing you how to retrieve it is because I have not made any sales right now. This is just for the purpose of the tutorial. So I can't even access the link as of right now, but I will link everything right below this video. So you guys have access step by step on what to do, but this is how easy it is to start create templates on template.com and how to retrieve a demo link and how to retrieve access to any templates that the customer purchases from you. I hope that you enjoyed this playlist tutorial. Let me know in the comments below if you have any questions. Um, I'm an open book about any of the videos that you watch. And let me know if you enjoy these type of videos so I could create more playlists like these. And thanks for watching.